classifying differential equations. Uh, classifying differential equations is important because depending on uh, if it's a first order, second order, uh, partial, uh, or ordinary, uh, linear or nonlinear, it's going to change the approach you would use to uh, solve the equation to find uh, solutions. Ordinary or partial is fairly self-explanatory. It's um, You'll have the normal notation if it's uh, ordinary. You'll have the partial notation if it is a partial. Uh, order simply means the highest degree of differentiation uh, in the problem. Uh, in this one, it would be a second order. Uh, this one would be a fourth order. Dependent and independent variables. This is similar to a normal function where you'd have y is equal to x squared. The independent variable would be the x and the y would be the dependent variable because its value depends on what x is. Uh, in the differential equation it is very similar. The dependent variable is the one that has been differentiated. Um, in this one the dependent variable would be the x and the independent variable would be the s. The independent variable would be the a and the dependent variable would be the v. Linear and nonlinear. This is probably the most difficult out of the classification. Um, if you think of a normal function like a line, it would be y is equal to x minus 5. That would be a linear equation y is equal to x squared plus 3 would be nonlinear because it's a parabola. In a differential equation, the same things that make a normal function linear or nonlinear would be the same for the differential equation, except instead of operating on the independent variable, it would be operating on the dependent variable, such as the y. For example, uh, this would be linear because there is nothing operating on the y prime or the y that would make it nonlinear. Uh, the second one would be linear also, uh, even though the x squared has the cosine function performed on it. Uh, it is not the cosine function is not affecting the y's. The third one would be nonlinear because the y double prime is squared, making it nonlinear. Nonlinear because the cosine function is performing on the y and the x. Uh, the y, if the y was not in here, then it would be linear. The last one is nonlinear because it has a radical uh, above the y and the y prime.